What's going on guys? This is Hyperion Blue GT Champion and this is SimCity 4. Well, I just remember playing it a long time ago, so well, good thing I'm just about to get ready to start it out for. So these are the five stages to get starting in for. So the region is definitely set takes place in Timbuktu. Well, you may know Timbuktu is the region. Well, definitely it's in Africa, of course, so let's go and get started for this tutorial, folks. So, well, I kind of guess that you guys have already remembered this game. Well, this will be get everything set up for it. But this is definitely a demonstration, but no need to have some continuous part for this one. Well, I kind of think that this is where you can probably have to start building your region, start building the city. And looks like we're about to get starting on this tutorial, you guys. So this tutorial takes step by step by having an introduction of, to the basics of being the mayor of your very own city. The terraforming, making money, big city, and rush hour tutorials are also available in the Timbuktu region. Well, if you already know the basics of getting the city up and running, you might try one of those tutorials. So here's the overview in case you guys have already noticed. Well, there is God Mode, and there's Mirror Mode, and evenly of course, My Sim Mode. Okay? In case if you really want to read this more by having a pause, so I'll be continuing on for it. So, maybe I can exit the tutorial this time, but maybe I just really don't want to do it. Just giving some demonstrations. So what else should I have to start? So let's start out with the mirror mode. Well, I kinda think it's been long for it. Now, let's just start building a residential zone, starting out on the street. Well, definitely... The area of the zone might need to have some power, so let's start putting up a coral power plant. Well, when placing a coral power plant up, maybe let's just say I'm just gonna have to putting on an industrial zone on this recommended spot. So, zones need to be connected. Good, since we built this industrial zone quite a while bit away from the residential zone because well dirty industries makes a lot of pollutions maybe I'll have to take care of that so streets versus roads that could be a difficult thing to do so let's just say let's start out on this road probably starting out here there you go but the bad news is the industrial zone doesn't have no power so let's just say, let's just bring the low density commercial zone. Put it right here. Okay, the blue zones are now in business. Well, definitely a, a little tip. Power flows through zones might be needed in for it. And also Sims moving in too. Now, probably in case you already know the controls of the zoom in option. Okay. Well, scrolling or centering the view, well, maybe the left and right current 
cursor location might be good in case if you want to see more boards. So let's just start putting in on turtle speed, rhino speed, or separately cheetah speed. That could go developing faster. So what else does The Sims want? Well, let's start building up an elementary school. So they could probably have to start using their IQ Q brains to make it learn faster. Oh my gosh, looks like fire just definitely called out for it. Well, looks like let's just start putting up a, a small fire station. Just using the emergency tools. And now, a fire truck has been dispatched. Maybe I'm just gonna have to zoom down and see him in action. Okay, there they are. There's that fire truck in action. Now let's see if there's some sims or... Okay, well... That was a reactive to this first emergency challenge. So, let's just click the advisor uh, panel to be continued. So th these are being only seven advisors will be helping you to do a little city planner, but let's just probably have to click this guy. Okay, city planner is Neil Fairbanks. Well, he's he's our city planner that he'll help out with all the basics to run an every efficient city. Well, once their head turns red, that means it has something important to tell you. It might be important for a mayor. Okay, so I kind of guess that this might be complete with this first tutorial, you guys. So this might be giving a little more important things to do. Maybe I'll just exit out of the region and move on into the next part. But evenly, of course, it takes seconds till going back in region mode. So looks like we're next up is the terraforming tutorial. Let's click this second part of it. Well, I kind of think you guys have maybe the good idea is to build your own region with all the terrain terraforming basics. Well, from shaping landscapes to controlling the forces of mother nature and beyond, this step-by-step -step tutorial will introduce you to powerful capabilities to have at your fingertips in the God Toolbar. Well, God Toolbar is definitely where you can create a terrain area in this singular map. Glad you have decided to make it continue. Well, I'm just gonna have to read all of this if you want to continue more for it. So, let's get starting with terraforming. Now, let's start with this area to transform into a special standard mountain. Well, of course, mountain is definitely the most peaceful environment. Now, I kind of think that affect the smaller area, just hold down the control t key button and use the tool, or to affect the larger area, just hold down the shift key and then use the tool. I'm just trying to try these methods out on it, so let's just say I'm just gonna have to use with this creative valley. Let's just gonna have to make this terrain much smaller. And looks like I have created a beautiful lake. Now, let's just make it small. See? The terrain effect is definitely slower, and this one is gonna be faster. Now, let's start out with this road. It will set winds to loose across the entire terrain, so this will click again, and may see it turns out what it looks like. Wow, beautiful. Now, maybe let's just start building up some trees. That's what Mother Earth really wants in trees, to have a peaceful environment. Well, it may spawn any time around the entire area. Just 
keep making these trees grow. Well, probably I may be able to be scroll around whenever I want. Well, let's just spread around the trees and let's make it like a fully advanced environment whenever I had to make it more perfect. Now, maybe let's just start out with some animals. Whoa, man. Did I just call out a, an African animals? Wow. So many animals are roaming around like... Having a stampede rush. Okay, well, let's see which time to move on in to control the day and night. Well, in case you guys have already know which conditions that you want to choose with, well, maybe nighttime only, or definitely day-night cycle. Well, it was also seen in every kinds of previous games on it. Well, I guess it seems to be a little bit too calm, but, well, let's just bring out a tornado to start the mayhem. Well, looks like pl placing a tornado could be giving a little more fun to rip out the entire trees. Well, in that case, you already saw that earlier that ends up at the water. Okay. Now, I'll be able to stop this for a while. Okay, and what's the reconical edges? Well... The area, this area effect features to show the highlighted areas has been shown around in red. Well, I really accept to continue on to make it better and normal. So, looks like you already know mastering the power of God to, to a bar. Maybe I'll just have to exit out and keep spreading some trees and move on into the next part. Well, just giving it one last stop to make the trees to be spread around to make it one happy, sweet Mother Nature. Oh yeah, especially cannot putting on the water because multiple bumps has also hurt. Alright, so let's exit out without save. Well, just definitely don't want to save this area for only one tutorial part. So let's move on in and start making some money for a third step tutorial. Well, making money is important as a mayor for taking responsibility for it. Maybe your sims really want to move in to have a city for it. So. Looks like this is definitely the basics how to play right. If not, you should probably exit the tutorial or maybe you should watch any kinds of videos to go back in the region by having a refresh step one for it. So this tutorial will address the number one reason that if the mayor's fair failed, there will be bankruptcy. But remember, just save some in cash if you want to keep building up some more ideas for it. But remember, making money is one of the keys to success in SimCity. Now, leaving money is definitely having a problem. So spending more than we're making for it, well, maybe just gonna have to check for some demonstration for it. So, the green one is the income that which is definitely where you really want to make more cash. And the monthly expenses shows in red, that may be spending. So, let's see how I can probably solve this problem in this city. Now, now let's just check on the investigation icon. Well, definitely this is the quarry. Now, how am I supposed to solve this issue? So let's just kind of have to defund the on the elementary school. So this might be just gonna have to make it shrink, decreasing in significantly. Ok, 
Okay, now it's close. So the cost is around 25 sim dollars. Now let's just check on the clinic. Ooh, too much cash to expense. Now let's just solve this a little problem. Alright, there you go. So, budget is balanced yet? No, looks like it's not yet done. But too much so too soon. Well, looks like the town is swimming in water because it doesn't really need it yet. I'm just gonna have to save some cash, so let's bulldoze on that water pump. There you go. Water pump as demolished. Well, maybe let's just gonna have to remove the fire station first. Buy a large fire station and then tear down that l large police station. Okay, looks like the expenses is decreasing in. Now let's just demolish that landmark. Well, it only costs 4,500 sim dollars to demolish it. Well, let's tear this landmark down. Okay. Well, looks like the cash cash is finally now positive, so this will be giving more time to make some money by one month. So let's check on the budget panel to expand it. Let's check on the details. Well, you already know to do some taxes on each three sections. Well, the green one is the residential, blue is the commercial, and the yellow one is the industrial. Well, the tax rate has been definitely important for it. Which, if you want to make some more money to keep the city grow, this will be the important thing to do. Okay, looks like that's the third part of the tutorial. Now let's go exit out and head back to the region and do a little big city tutorial. Well, big city tutorial is all about when you can really want to make your own big city with all of your greatest creative ideas. So, looks like it's time to get ready to make on its way to the next step. Wow, Big City Tutorial can also have one million dollars. So, let's just go and get started for this fourth part of the tutorial. Maybe this will take some time till you'll be ready to move. Okay, well, once you're loading the game, the blue font lines will also shown randomly. It says here, fixing election outcome matrix. So yeah, it also loading in by having different types of sentences and words to be seen. Normalizing power. Okay, that should be good. So, looks like this is the fourth part of the tutorial. So, if you really want to start making your own big, rich city, this tutorial assumes that you know how to create a small city at least 20,000 sims and a strong, positive cash flow. If you don't want to, if you don't know how to make a big city like this, well, this will recommend you to make a look at the big money tutorial by continuing here. So, let's turn this city around. Guess that this place is about to get big. But, it's still a low down, dirty and poor. The previous mayor made a practice hoarding as much tax as in income as possible. Well, maybe let's just continue to proceed for it. So, maybe let's just gonna have to demand a strong residential meaning the city wants to grow even more. Well, definitely growing demand is important. Just probably have to put on some selections to start out on low residential. But probably speaking of which, putting low residential does give you a little more good opportunity. But how about let's start building the medium residential zone. Now let's just go and 
add a water pump. Maybe like putting on that yellow spot right here. And pretty soon, Sims will start building some apartments, which is definitely placed in the new medium density zone. Now everybody is now happy to move into town to have a nice place to live. Okay, so medium density also requires a water pump. Now, maybe let's check on the data and check on the desirability. What was desirability means? Well, perhaps it also shows on this whole green coverage area for you. Now, let's just go on over to residential high wells. Ooh, looks like definitely a little bit cover up in the red and I also saw it in green. Check on the budget and see what else is going on for. Okay, well, I kind of guess that this area could also need a recommendation. So let's just start building a, a small park built right next to the homes. Well, building parks is important whenever people really wants to go in, in the nearby parks or having a little destination. Well, having parks is important to have a good recreational. You see, the whole area is now immediately such now as the new park is greener than the rest of the city, such as our amenities as parks and schools have local desirability effects on the residential development. Well, one of these days, all these areas will be no longer in red, and looks like this is going to become fully happier green. You saw this circle around here. Now, let's check on the RCS, RCI graph. So, demanded by wealth. So, the green bar shows is the high wealth residential indicates that there is very little demand for high wealth sims. This is because there are a few jobs that pay well in the city. You will first need to create a demand by paying manufacturing industries and high tech industries before your city will bloom into wealthy residents. Well, no longer desire to have well wealth homes. Medium and high wealth homes are definitely okay. So let's just gonna have to collapse first and let's just gonna have to start building up a school because education is important for the Sims. Well, demolishing homes might be important. So let's just say putting a high school first. Now let's click the cheetah speed and let's see what happens. Alright, so education takes time to to let it grow. But maybe provide for the public health might be important for the Sims so they need to become fully healthy. Now let's go and start putting a large medical center on the flashing squares. Okay, now let's check on the data view one more time. Just wanted to see the desirability effect to be increasing in growth. Whoa! What a difference! You can clearly see that things are looking up in that neighborhood. And it looks like it has a little investment on that part. Of course it is, and... Ta-da! This area is now in green effect. Now this area is about to be grow and oh man, looks like the education IQ and the health levels are about to be increasing in. Take a look at that folks. This area is now fully covered green for this sector. Now let's see how the demand is doing. Let's check on the RCI bar again and haha, <laughs> yes, looks like finally show some Industrial manufacturer demand low. Good. That'll make sure that the dirty industry will go away by now. But 
They may be also appear to be going in at maximum effect by 6,000. So let's just close RCI demand. Wrap. Alright, so looks like this tutorial is complete. Looks like this is going to be one more part of this tutorial demonstration, you guys. And, well, looks like time for a little strategy tips on building the city on rush hour. So what is the rush hour means? Well, probably you guys have already talked about the movie Rush Hour. Well, this is different because a whole lot of traffic problems going on in the city. But this will help you out to keep the situation going under control on the transportation. So what's new to the rush hour? This tutorial will show off some new features available in the rush hour if you are new to SimCity 4. We recommend it to take a look on getting started on this final part of the tutorial. Otherwise, let's see what's new. Okay, so might be some transportation options has been featured in port. Well, I kind of think Avenue's ele elevated rail and definitely monorail. This will be giving a little more gold to get this city traffic flowing smoothly. Let's start out to see what's the problems here. Okay, now let's start out with this route query. Hmm, so this road is definitely shows the number of cars and freight trucks jumps in. Wow, I cannot believe there's so many congestion lines for this traffic. So you already know about that traffic congestion route on this area. So let's just continue on and start solving this problem. Well, let's just probably start building out on the elevated rail station. Elevated rail station is definitely important when you're using that rail to travel around. But it also destroys every structure then. Oh man, you saw this one? Ouch, nasty accident. Don't worry, I'll solve this problem. Just putting on the elevated rail to subway. It'll be able to help the situation going in. Now let's start putting on that subway trying line to connecting on that elevated rail. And there you go. Looks like this will complete an interrogated mass transit system between both subways and elevator rail. Now let's take a look at some other mass transit options. Well, maybe let's just gonna have to start building up a monorail station. Monorail station is definitely the most modern transportation for everyone that they want to go anywhere. Well, I kinda think monorail is the futuristic city experience. There you go. Looks like the monorail system is now open for business. So the Sims could also speed back and forth. Just giving a little more time to be giving a little lineup congestion. So let's see if there's some other transportation options. Okay, so let's fix this problem by placing an avenue. There you go. This will take care of that congestion. But this will spend a lot of money upgrading the transportation infrastructure to recoup up some of that money. Now, how about placing a toll booth instead? So that could be increasing some money to be giving a good choice. Well, I kind of think toll booths are important by having a little more divided section between two zones. Now let's continue to proceed. And definitely introduction to ferries. Well, the industrial district is left on the developing well, but it will stand great if we don't get workers to move across the river. Let's solve some problems by using the car and passenger ferry terminal. Okay, first one on the industrial. And now, the second half is now ready for go. Now let's speed things up and see how it goes and let's slow down on the rhino speed. Well, definitely building avenues on the bridge should be okay. So this will be giving a little more available sections to be recommended needed. Okay, well, I kind of think this is too far 
understand it. Let's stretch it up right here by now. Oh yeah, in case if you guys really want to start selecting each different kinds of bridge if you want, this will be used as a decoration. Well, I kind of think it's also cost amount of good money, but this is definitely here red, and it looks like a, a medium suspension is definitely based off from New York, and the large steel arch is definitely based off from Australia. Well, definitely long suspension is definitely almost like the one in San Francisco. Well, I kind of think let's choose the Cable State Bridge. Well, I kind of think I might be able to choose any kinds of bridges whenever I want. So let's just go with. Well, Cable State might be okay by now. Well, that was a nice bridge. Hyperion Blue GT. Well, thank you. That was a very nice good bridge Now let's go and proceed Now maybe there's some more education to be placing in for well it's Putting on a different elementary school that is large But let's just say putting on a large water pump that could be expanded version of a regular water pump but there is some building style control because this will shows the each styles has definitely seen around here and well definitely there's some building style controls includes like Chicago which is 1890 Houston in 1990 and New York in the 1940s and definitely the new style called Euro contemporary well I kind of think let's just choose this style for this building. Well, Euro Contemporary is definitely a European building style. So it also depends which you guys really want to have. So let's just go and exit out. And there might be some signs and label tools around here. Now, placing a signpost will also giving a name for it. Let's just putting on factory set district. Well I kinda of think I'm kinda of think it might be a better typer, so let's just putting on factory instead. Now, let's just put on the label street. Well, label street is definitely good anywhere. So I had to choose any kinds of area around. Well, maybe let's just put on some label tool on this street. Let's just put on... Maybe like... Hold on, I'm maybe kind of good around typing. Well, maybe Industry Street might be okay. So let's just continue to proceed and... Well, removing signposts and labels could be giving a good choice. So, I'll just delete these two. Now, displaying the signs on labels this will give me a little more time for it. And see there's some a new section called You Drive It. This will also show on the indicators to show up over vehicles to use to complete the mission. By clicking the mission indicator that you can see what the mission is about. Maybe you can drive any kinds of it in the sim mode. Well, I kinda of think this will this will show the mission indicators turn on and off. And there's some earned land vehicles to show around the scene. Okay, so these are the different kinds of vehicles that's been shown for. Once you earn these vehicles by having these sections to be earned, this will be able to unlock by it right away. So let's get the get these CDs on the move. Once everything's good to go, maybe I'll just gonna have to play the city for only once. 
and see what else is going to do for it. Okay, let's just roll around and select a vehicle. Well, definitely a fire truck, school bus, and a getaway fan as definitely seen. But what is a getaway fan? Well, it was used for any kinds of cooks used that fan for doing some robberies or high schools. Well, let's just say, let's go and try it out for it. <laughs> I just also heard that getaway guy driver just said. <laughs> well, unfortunately, each vehicle can also drive on tarmac because this will give me a little more traffic communication. <laughs> well, I kind of think the getaway guy sound is definitely sounding like a Homer Simpson. <laughs> Well, hear that? That was definitely sounded like Bowman Simpson, but very different for it. <laughs> Alright, so no need to try it out for it. So let's just start trying out the fire engine. Okay, I'm on the fire engine. Now, there might be some other functions that's also seen. Well, definitely press enter to also turn the sirens on. It also scared the traffic off. Just trying to, add to learn some demonstrations if you want to start building up your own city. But I really like this good calming music. This will give you a little more time for it. So that might be it for five parts of the city. This is definitely good for it. So I kind of think this will give you a little more anytime parts on this game. Well, I'm really enjoying it. Just like the good old times. This is definitely the good feature to start out with. Well, folks, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and have a good day. And please don't forget to click like, comment, and subscribe on YouTube. Check out the two links below. And even the, the third link is now available, it has also shown by it. But if it does, it will also come out coming soon for it. So, I'll see you guys next time, and start building your own city, you guys. This is definitely just giving a good choice whenever you guys want to play it for a long time. And I'll see you guys later. See ya.